L D N R B S. We have another special guest in the building. Yeah. None other than Mr. O one six one. Oh one two one. Oh one two one. My day. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad. I just start eating again. All of the family listeners. Hello, all of the family listeners. What did he just say? You're gonna have to reiterate that one. Shout out to Brian and Shout out to everyone in the building. Come on, man. Hold it. You can't hear the way you are. 100%. LDNLBS. Team in the building. Hey. How you doing? How are you? I'm alright. Hello. Yeah. Kind of relaxed now. I'm relaxed. Relaxed now. Why? What happened? The drive up here was. Yeah. Asked people can hear the accent. They can hear the accent. You're from Birmingham. Yeah. Tell me about yourself, man. 100,000 views later. What's Birmingham? Oh, that. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. It could be better. Says it yeah. as if like anyone and everyone gets involved. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What um, a bit about myself. Mm. Um, basically, I'm from Birmingham, innit? And I'm just here to show people like what I can do, mm. and just give you like good music, mm. and yeah, just tell my story. That's it. When really. did the music journey start for Tim? Right, because you got a very playful style, but at the same time, it's real. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. I wanted to know where did it start with you? About two years ago. Two years. Is that yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Properly, I say. Yeah. About two years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what got you into music? Just messing around, like you know, like if you're just messing around with a puzzle or something, and someone says, "Yo, how can you like build that, put that puzzle together quick?" That's how it was like with me in the studio. I went to the studio, mm-hmm. and then I just jumped in the booth and just started messing around, made one song, and then everyone was like, "Yo, that's something bad still," mm-hmm. and then. Just took it from there. Was you even with that good reaction? Did you get good reactions from the music straight away, or was that a slow burner? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, you did. I did. So that's what gave me the drive to like continue. Mm. But then obviously I had setbacks in between because obviously um, changed around management and all that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So now I'm here today. But obviously with the music, like. I'm my own critic in it, so obviously if I don't think it's good, I can't really put it out there. Yeah. Why did you change management? Oh, nothing, it was nothing personal, it was just that basically like, my manager mm-hmm. that I had at the time, I felt like he could only take me to certain places yeah. and like, obviously I wanted to elevate it, mm-hmm. so yeah. Minus just... setbacks, major comebacks. To say yeah. the least. Say that. Yeah. So obviously Birmingham, Birmingham's made its mark on the map I would say, yeah, you know you've got artists like Miss. Rem tracks, you've got JK, quite a lot, Lady JK, Lady Isha, Lady Isha. Yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> so obviously seeing them as artists and oh, not thing. seeing them as artists and you know how, how incredibly well they're doing so far, mm. do you feel a bit of pressure to be able to kind of get on their level? Do you feel like you're kind of chasing it and, and want to be on their level? Do you feel like you're putting pressure on yourself nah, to do so? Not even because okay. like I believe in myself in it and like obviously I can't watch what next person's doing because really? then that might distract what I'm doing. So obviously, I just know how to do me. So yeah, mm-hmm. but obviously, big up them like at the same time as well. I could have doing things for Birmingham and the UK, obviously. So mm-hmm. big up them as well. And would you say, or would you want to collab with any of them? And if so, who? Well, all of them I'm open to collab with everyone from Birmingham because obviously it's my city, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But I'd say at the moment, right now, I like you know Mitch. We had a Mitch. I've had a Mitch. Yeah, I've Mitch. Had yeah. Mitch. Mm-hmm. So obviously, yeah, he's doing good things, and um, yeah, mm-hmm. Mist is doing good things. Definitely. Um, I like Lady Nisha. Ah, oh, she's sick. Yeah. Yeah. To me, she's. And she's I, I, I would feel like I'm disrespecting her yeah. by just saying she's the best female. Yeah. I feel like she's hitting a yeah. lot of males. Yeah, 100%. that's the yeah. yeah, because when like in this business, you get like. People say, oh, because she's a girl, you're yeah. like, nah, none of that. Lady Lee's a bad chick. She's bad, she would give a lot of men a good one. Lyrically, she's better than a lot, a lot, a lot of artists that yeah. are spitting right now. So, 100%. big up Lady Leisha, but yeah. go on. What would you say is different in Birmingham right now? Because in the last few years, it seems like there is just a whole heap of new artists just come through, including yourself. Like, whereas before, it seemed like it was one or two mm-hmm. come through, but now it's everyone. What do you think is different? The game was changing, like we're seeing the opportunities now mm. and we're, we're taking it like serious because it's becoming a reality. Mm. Like, obviously you probably got like the trendsetters that like, Miss probably like set it off mm. and then everyone's thinking now like, yo, Miss was just a local lad, so if you can do it, why can't we do it? Yeah. You understand? So, yeah. 
I would say that Bam, like the Birmingham sound is, is definitely still quite new yeah, and yeah. fresh. I mean, obviously it's been around for a couple of years now, yeah. but it's, it's fresh, still yeah, it's it fresh, is still it's quite fresh. fresh. Yeah, it, it and is. I feel as if a lot of Birmingham sound is all spitting. Like, I don't really know, apart from Lotto Boys, mm. I don't really come across much Birmingham singers. You might know that. Is there? <laughs> it's only exactly. Lotto Boys. There's a lot. There's a, there's a few. Who, Maybe who? we're ignorant to it. Maybe, yeah. 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 Obviously, we don't really know yeah. that much because, as we said, the sound is um, fresh. All in good time, and that's what I can say. Yeah. That's what I can say. That's what I can say. Oh, you can one of them. There you go. There, there, you, go. Go. there you go. So there you that go. leads me to my next question. Then, how do you describe your sound? My sound. Well, I'm versatile, so I wouldn't just say I'm a person that could do drill, or I could just do grind, mm. or I could just do rap or sing. I like to put myself in every category. Mm. Yeah. Don't 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 leave yourself out, man. Real. Yeah. Who did you grow up listening to? <laughs> all the old school artists, is like real. Tupac and all the people that Biggie and like R and B and that. For real. Yeah. Like Joe, Osher, you know Jay Z. Obviously, he's not R and B. No, from the time you say Joe at the start, yeah. I know you know yeah. the music. Yeah. So <laughs> we don't even need to hear you. So you yeah. say Joe, then we yeah. know you know. And like Beyonce and that. Yeah, Very of course. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and would you say any of those artists are listening to that music? Would you say that has an influence in your song? Like, yeah, no, because they're like my inspiration, but I like to put my own yeah. like, source on it, you know what I mean? What like, makes 10 different? What makes me different? Yeah. Good question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what makes me different? Man, like, so every, every track that I do, I try to create like a new flow, so I'm not yeah. going to go into one track and just have one flow on this track, and then the next track you're going to hear is going to sound the same. I try to change it up like all the time. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So tell us what it was like growing up in Birmingham. Birmingham, growing up there. It was just like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, obviously, you know how it goes, like, yeah. we all come from a place where there's loads of poverty and, like, the yeah. communities. It's not just, like, all crowded, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And, like, obviously, everyone gets into trouble with all the gangs and all these mm-hmm. things and that. But, yeah, man don't, like, man stayed away from all of that still. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And how did you manage to do it? Because it is quite hard, especially when it's in your face yeah. all the time. It is hard, especially as a black man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Obviously, I grew up on like both sides. Then basically, like I know like all the native people from like both sides. Then so like, if I'm not involved, why get involved? If it's not something, why make it something? You get me? So I just took myself out of all of that. I just kept them at arms length and I said, you know what? We grew up. I know, yeah, and that's it. Mm. You get me? In the next five years, where do you think ten will be? Where do I think? Hopefully, mm. doing shows and just shutting down this thing differently. You get me? Mm. Yeah. So let's talk about shows. Cause have you done any at the moment? At the moment. At, at the moment, nah. Not at the moment. You made noise. Why not? Nah, because some things are happening obviously behind the scenes that yeah. well, I can't really go into play. Obviously, is to we're itching to tell you to arch you right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. But two is obviously I can't go into a certain detail, but things are like happening behind the scenes. But eventually they're coming in. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So let's talk about set it off because obviously DJ Target spun, spun it on yeah. one extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out DJ Target. Yeah, shout out all the time. So mm. what was the inspiration behind that track? Wow. As my manager. What were you trying to set off? What set off? Oh, <laughs> so well, well, obviously, what was I trying to set off? Basically, I was just trying to. And add to the extra noise for Birmingham, innit? Like, and obviously the whole of the UK, like, because yeah. when, I, when I make my music, I don't just do it just for Brom. Obviously, Brom's my home place, innit? Whole of the UK, they come together and we just do this thing, innit? Because obviously, if there's good music on the radio, then, you know, people can feel like good within themselves, and it gives other people, like, inspiration as well. Because yeah. I'm just a local lad from the ends, you get me? Mm. So when people, like, hear my songs, I'm whether it's Pulse, whether it's One Extra, like, they get inspired by that. Yeah. So yeah. And what would you say, or I guess how did you feel when you started releasing this, these tracks? What sort of response did you get from it and how did you feel about it? Like, I felt good, but everyone was just jumping to you quick, like, yo, you're starting out this. I was saying, nah, but I said, yo, we got a long way to go, like, yeah. like, we got a long way to go. But I just felt happy that obviously people acknowledged like what I'm doing, like the feedback was good. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And did you get quite a lot of love from Birmingham? Yeah, I would say so, you know. But I got a lot of love that I didn't as well. 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, London, I love it. Like, and that's London, a hard yeah, thing. I know. I'll, I'll say that. I know. I know. Show, I know. I look at you I know. Yeah, I know. Literally. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy, man. Trust me. I like London. Mm. I like London a lot. So. Do you come to London often? You know what? When I got spare time, obviously I try to make time for come people at all that airport. Mm. Obviously, the traffic down here. I'm not around here around nine. I'm not in for the traffic. That's all the thing. Like, there no tra- no, there's much traffic up there. He no. says a couple people in smacks, so he's obviously <laughs> chatting about yeah. Nah, 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 yeah. What kind of sound would we be expecting? Because one thing from listening to your music, it seems like you do very much jump from start to start. Yeah. And you seem like you're comfortable doing it. Yeah. So what kind of type of album would we expect to hear? A bit of everything. So mm. I wanna like if I make an album, it needs to please everyone. Mm. So even if a man that listens to say like he just listens to Afro, mm. that would be on there. If he just listens to Grime, that would be on there. If you listen to trap drill whatever it is mm. all that will be on there mm. so it's for everyone the album will be for so yeah and it. how what is the progress of the album like but well, i've got loads of work <laughs> like so you didn't even say you had an yeah. album and it, and i've got you. loads of work i've got loads of work i've got loads of work the album is there the, the, the ep wow the ep we basically probably covered the ep already mm-hmm. but yeah, we're just, it's basically just about on decision and making as a team. Mm. We like just choosing the tracks that we feel yeah. we're putting out there. So yeah. And what sort of content without revealing obviously too much? Because managers <laughs> look that we like. You know, even <laughs> but what sort of what can we expect from this EP? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. 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 Everything that like you know that we're listening to today, and even more. Mm. Mm. So it's coming into the music thing. What kind of positive and negative things have you seen in the industry? So? Positive and negative. I don't know, you know, because mm. I like I said, I just do me. Like yeah. I just live my life like day by day and give thanks for it as well. So I don't really mm. see too like see too much. You understand? But yeah, like. But from someone being from Birmingham especially yeah. and getting into the industry, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's harder, I think, when you're not from London oh, to okay. kind of make a name for yourself, especially yeah. for the UK market. So ha- how has it been for you kind of coming in the industry? Have you met anyone? Got any resistance? Yeah, I've met, I've met people, obviously. Yeah. But I just always say to myself, like, the hard work don't go unnoticed. And I just try and give it, I just try and give my all. And obviously, it's not going to be the last year, up, man. So obviously, time will tie in it. So... I can't really say much. You don't feel like you've come across any objections or anything? Nah. It's been an easy ride, nah. has it? It's been an easy ride so far. Well, that's one of that's the first I've ever heard. Too, <laughs> the same. That's the come up like so, at so much. So far. <laughs> like, you know, I've you been getting like loads. <laughs> <laughs> Only now you can say yeah. that. So obviously, and I've got like, I've received a lot of love from down here. Yeah. Which, like, I'm really like thankful and grateful for that. So mm. I can't really. You know, can't 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 yeah. It's going good so far. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing to, to know. Nice because it's, it's not usually, you know, when you speak to people in the industry, yeah. Yeah. It's, it can be very cutthroat. It can be very hard, yeah. especially, as yeah. I said, if you're not from London and mm. people don't know you. So that's good that, you know, you haven't had no problems so yeah. far. It's been good. Man. Yeah. Really. So I guess, similar to what Ty was saying, not in the next five years, but obviously in the immediate sort of, let's talk the next six months, what's your vision? Where do you want to take yourself? Where do you want to achieve? Somewhere I've been before. <laughs> nah, yeah. I feel like this guy's poet. Like, Ray's just kind of like these sort of like quotes, like artists ready. I know. In the next six months, wow, well, I'll have a couple more material out there, mm-hmm. so people can get down with that. And the rest of it takes me from there. Like I said, like baby steps. So yeah, let's talk about your social media because I'm a pre in there. And, and uh, you ain't got none, no sort of photos of yourself. I like the way you've laid out your yeah. your profile. Yeah. Obviously, it's like it looks cool. But why yeah. have you decided to do that instead of obviously like posting photos? I did have photos. Okay. I did have photos before, but when we came with the artwork for M Swear Down, mm-hmm. my track was out now, by the way. When I came with the artwork for that, we decided That's that you know what, do it. We said you know what, we're gonna take down all them pictures and we're gonna make this look like the thing. Then so okay. yeah. 
The tin deck. The tin. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I like what you well, did there. Work, mate. <laughs> and obviously, you know what it is? I'm a person where I work in silence, mm. so I'm not going to be the type of person to put up my music and then show them clips of it. I just, yeah. when it's coming out, I make it come out as a proper package, you yeah. understand? So, yeah. yeah. That's how we like to work as a team. Yeah. And obviously, you said that you know you touch you're very versatile as an artist. You can touch on drill, Africans, all that sort of yeah. stuff. So, what are, what is your opinion now on the band drill movement? Yo, <laughs> I'm not gonna say too much on the air, but it's rubbish. No, you can't hack you band something that's good in it. Obviously, like it's taking people off the streets and mm. so they're doing something positive. So why you wanna ban something that's positive? Like, but then it could be argued that what what it actually consists of isn't positive. I know, but it's just basically people telling their stories. Well, how have you tell your story? It's always gonna sound like it's not positive, isn't it? You yeah. understand? To a, to a man that's poor, you could be talking about how much diamonds you got, and how much money, and he sees that as not positive. You understand mm. what I'm saying to you? Mm. So, what's not positive about Drew? Just because a man's talking about what he's living and what he's done. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Ain't no different than our film, I guess. Yeah. But also, I would say, for anyone that is listening to this interview too and heard Tim for the first time, why should they listen to your music? And why should I go follow you on socials? Because I just give you the real me, you understand? And I'm just telling you my story, and there's no there's no gimmicks, there's no lights behind it. Like, it's all 100, like, <laughs> and that's it. And I'm doing it for the whole UK as well. Birmingham, mm-hmm. obviously. But yeah, for the whole UK, and I just want people to. Tap in and listen to some good music. For real. Different styles. For real. We have Tim on the yeah. show. Give him a clap. Hey. You got more? I wanted to yeah, know though, because obviously we never asked him about his producers because everyone knows. If anyone knows me, I'm all about producers. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, because obviously, like I always say, every single show, yeah. producers do not get enough recognition. Yeah. Yes, so, who are you working with at the moment? Wow. Who um, produced Set so Up? And basically, a team called them Cirque 95, and obviously, the bad, obviously. You probably won't have heard of them. Bad. They're bad. Bad. Like bad. <laughs> everything, is bad. Man, listen. Everything you're going to hear from me is going to be produced by the same people. Okay. You understand? And are they Birmingham local? Yeah. Okay. But they like, connects around London and everywhere as well. So, obviously, you know, we just everything you're going to hear from me is going to be from them. So, yeah. And are there any producers you're working with? Yeah, at the moment, but I'm open to obviously work with other producers if it's right. You understand? Who would you want to work with, producer wise? Producer wise, mm-hmm. I don't know because there's some producers that like people ain't heard of that are yeah. gang with it that are bad. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Like I don't know, but there's obviously there's people out there that can make like you know. I think fanatics are good. Yeah. And still bangles is good. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of like producers out there that are good at the moment. So yeah. I like, never say never. Okay. okay, well shout out the social that the people that are here. Sure, so yeah. The socials obviously you. Instagram you can find me on tin underscore 0121 that's my Instagram. Obviously the same with Twitter. Yeah. And we never ever bring anybody up because we get sometimes we get a lot of people that want to come up. Yeah. But we only co-sign and it's <laughs> room. So yeah, we're co-signing for sure when it comes 100%. to tin. One hundred. And I'm listening up for that EP. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, you're gonna see it, man. Man, come on to feature. Well, <laughs> LDN. Get ready for my buzz. Hey. <laughs>